mill. So if you ever have a chance to visit our facility, um, you will find uh, it to be a, a fantastic place. It is a one of a kind and it is a must see. So we welcome you to visit anytime. We offer a travel box voucher to anyone that visits, um, which will reimburse your travel expenses up to $1,000. So if you purchase a package from us, then you would be credited that on your purchase. Uh, it makes for a great getaway vacation and a chance to see for yourself why Golden Eagle is a leader in the industry. A little bit about myself in general. Um, again, my name is Jan Helber. Uh, I'm a sales advisor here at Golden Eagle Log Homes. I've been selling homes for 30 years and I have put over 1,100 customers in new homes. Um, I have a business degree in marketing. I hold a valid builder's license and I am, an and I am approved for ADA housing. I am a local resident of Wisconsin Rapids. Uh, I have been married to my lovely wife, Sarah, for 29 years. Uh, I have two awesome children. Um, I enjoy the outdoors, mostly hiking, fishing, and hunting, and don't mind a round of golf now and then. And very importantly, I am an avid Packer fan. Yes, a cheesehead. And I look forward to winning the Super Bowl this year. So with that said, um, we, we're, we will be, begin our presentation. Uh, the, the home that you are seeing on, uh, on the cover here, which says how to spend more or less, um, this particular home um, was uh, designed for a specific individual. Golden Eagle, Golden Eagle deals with many customers that all have different budgets. So this presentation will give you some ideas to save costs when planning your new home, or it will give you great ideas how to add options and values. The home that you see on the cover is a home that we designed for a younger couple um, who had a very strict budget. Uh, we needed to work with them to cut costs as much as possible. So to make their dream come true, we had to go through the home and figure out some ways to cut some price. Now Golden Eagle has standard products that we use uh, and we have upgraded features and we have products that we can also use to cut costs. So we're going to begin with the, uh, the next slide here. Sorry about that. Okay. Anyway, so if you watch, uh, I'm going to use my cursor and I'm going to kind of just kind of follow through as I speak. So one of the items that we did on this particular home uh, to cut some prices for our customer was to go with a six by six treated pulse. So if you look at the deck that these folks have on their home, these posts are required to hold up the building or the deck. So we went with a simple six by six treated post rather than going with log posts in these locations. It's certainly a less expensive option to do. It can, you can still stain these square posts to match the stain colors of the home and still give you a very nice look. Another option that we did with this particular home is we went with what we call splits split face concrete blocks on the walkout wall. Now, when, when, when it comes time for you to plan your home, you're going to have to choose a type of foundation that has to go underneath this house. Options might be a slab on grade where you're going to build your home on just a slab. It might be a crawl space foundation where it's just a simple a crawl space underneath the home or you're going to put a basement underneath the house, which is our most popular option. If you have a specific piece of property um, where you can build the basement into a side of a hill so that parts of the basement is exposed so that you can put windows and patio doors, that is a very good option for you. 
So in this particular case, our customer had a specific site that had a sloping lot so that they were able to build their basement into the hill so they had the exposed foundation on part of the building. Now, once that foundation is exposed, you want to be able to finish the exterior of that foundation so that it looks nice. So you have different options and choices. And one option that these folks chose was just to go with a concrete block foundation and then have these split face rocks or stone blocks that are exposed to the outside. That will definitely save money in the long run. You will not have to you know, frame this in and put maybe stone or log siding on the outside. The, the split face blocks are just part of the foundation. So this would be one way to save some money. Another very popular way uh, in, in gaining extra square footage at a much less cost is to be able to finish the basement. Um, and again, this, these customers, uh, they were, when they came to us, they were looking for about a 2,500 square foot finished home that they figured they needed for their family. So by doing that, we were able to finish the home upstairs with about 1,500 square feet and then finished the basement, giving them an extra 1,000 square foot of square footage at a much less cost. We have found that finishing the basement is only about one-third the cost in square foot cost rather than making the home larger up above. So this is a great way to gain extra square footage for a lot less cost. The next slide we're talking about is wall finishes. Now if you notice in this downstairs or in this basement, this can also be in the upstairs or in the loft level, but they went with some drywall finish on the walls on the inside of the home. There are a number of different wall finish options that you can choose from, drywall being the least expensive, followed by a tongue and groove pine on the interior, followed by a log on the interior, and finally you can also go with stone on the interior of your home. So these are all different wall finish choices and these are all going to have a play on the final outcome of the cost to build your home. Another thing, so on the, uh, to save some money again on the same particular home, um, we went with, again, I'm moving my cursor, but in the, uh, on the corners of this log home, we went with what we call a vertical corner. Golden Eagle offers a number of different types of corner styles and options. The vertical corner would be our least expensive, which still looks very nice. The vertical corners are available in a square or a round corner. We also offer a butt and pass corner system, which is our most popular here at Golden Eagle, and we have made that our standard corner. We also offer a saddle notch corner. We offer a dovetail corner. So there are a number of different choices that you can go with for different corner style options. Vertical being the least expensive. So we did incorporate that into this home um, again, to save these folks some money. Golden Eagle uses the Pella window line of windows in our homes. Pella is a very large company and has many different window options to choose from. We, uh, they offer a vinyl window option, and that is what you're seeing on this home. If you look at the windows, the windows are vinyl windows, which means that they are vinyl on the exterior and they're vinyl on the interior. Many people like this style of window because they're a completely maintenance-free window. That means they don't need to be stained and varnished on the inside. They are a less expensive cost for a window option. Um, Pella also offers a wood clad window where it is a powder coated extruded aluminum on the outside and then it would have a wood interior that would be stained and varnished to match your log and trim on the inside. 
Treated railing systems were used on this home. If you look at number three on the notes, and what they did is they went with a uh, treated railing system, which is nothing more than a two by two rail, rather than going to a log rail system on the house or a metal rail system, they went with a treated two by two uh, square railing system. Again, less cost to save some money, but yet they were still able to stain it so that it matches the home and still looks very nice. The fourth item on this list is called our quarter log wall finish. So I need to elaborate here a little bit and tell you a little bit about the different uh, log options that we offer here at Golden Eagle. The first log option would be our quarter log or our half log wall finish. Basically what that means is that means that Golden Eagle is framing the home with a conventional 2x6 frame wall just like that of a conventionally built home. We then would apply an exterior sheathing to the outside and we would wrap the house with a, a drain wrap, a Tyvek drain wrap. We would then apply either a quarter log or a half log siding that would go on the exterior of the house. From the outside look, it would look the same as a full log home. The difference between a quarter log and a half log is a quarter log is only two inches thick, and that would be face nailed to the outside of the house. The, the nail holes then would be caulked and stained over. The half log system is a four inch thick log siding. So it gives it a little bit more dimension than the quarter log, but yet it has all hidden fasteners when it is installed. Therefore, there are no screws or nail holes that go into the outside of the siding. So some people may choose the half log in its place. The next option that Golden Eagle would offer is our full log home. That is probably our most popular here at Golden Eagle. Full logs are available in an 8-inch, 10-inch, and 12-inch diameter log. So it's a, a bigger diameter um, to give you a larger look to the home. The bigger the log, the better the thermal mass factor when considered when for the, your heat loss when it comes time for energy factors. An 8-inch log will meet most requirements throughout the United States. Um, 10 inch and 12 inch logs are popular in extreme cold areas. You can get different dimension, different shapes to all your full logs. Full logs can be available in what we call a double round log. That means that it, the log is round on the inside and round on the outside. It is also available in a D log style, which means that it is round on the outside and flat on the inside. And also you can get a square log option, which means it is flat on the outside and flat on the inside. So you have different shapes and different sizes to choose from in the full log option. So on this particular home, our customer chose the quarter log wall finish so that they were able to save some costs to cut down on price. The next picture that we're showing you here is a picture of a completely different home. This particular home was designed for customers with a, a completely different budget than the first home that I showed you before. They wanted a unique home with many options and special features added. So let's discuss some of the things that they did with this beautiful uh, Golden Eagle home. Number one, they wanted blinds or, and shades installed in their windows and their patio doors. So this is an option uh, that, that, that Palo Window Company offers. Again, if you're, before I mentioned the vinyl window, also the, the Pella Proline wood clad window. Pella also offers a designer series or an architectural series window 
that gives the homeowner an option to add special features. And one of those special features might be putting blinds or shades in the glass. Um, very convenient um, option so that you don't have to go out and have custom made uh, shades and uh, drapery down the road. They would come built right into the windows and doors. Another option, which is number two on this list, is they went with 12 foot wide patio doors. Patio doors are typical in a six foot door, meaning that it would come in two panels and they can come in a sliding door where they would be a slider or they can come in a swinging door where the doors would actually swing open. You can get double opening doors where both doors open or you can get a single door where one door swings open. In this case, our customer wanted to go with more glass, so they added a 12-foot wide patio door with four panels with two panels that would open rather than just one opening door. This will allow them to get wider furniture or wider uh, things through the doorway. Another item that they upgraded on this home is they um, they went with a finished walkout wall. Their stonework, if you talk, if you remember when I talked on that first picture, where they showed they just went with a black foundation. In this case, they went with a two by six framed wall, basement wall on their exposed wall that would be insulated, and then they actually installed real stone on the outside of the of the walkout exposed foundation area. This allows for a beautiful look. Um, this stone would be available in what we call a cultured stone, which is a man-made stone, or an actual real stone. In this case, this would be a real stone that they installed on this particular home. Another, the, the next items that they upgraded with their home is they went with larger diameter newel posts. So if you look up on the top of the deck up above, those posts, you're going to have a log railing that, that runs across your deck. They went with larger diameter newel posts. It has really no structural value or any difference as far as structurally but it gives it the home a better, nicer look by going to the more beefier, larger posts. So they went from a standard 6-inch post that we would typically install to a 10-inch post up on top. They then followed that with what we call a flare bottom post uh, down below that would run from the deck, bottom of the deck, down to the, gr to the, to the ground. Now these log diameter posts can run all the way to the ground or they can actually be installed onto these concrete piers. If you look at item number three on this list, they are showing some concrete piers that would have stone installed on them and then the log posts would come down and set on top of them. It's just something different. It gives it a very nice look and it, it, rather than running the posts all the way down to the ground. So the, these are just some different options that would be available for your posts and your stone piers. Another option these people asked for was to go with some specialty windows. Windows are available in most any shape or size that you would like they requested what we call eyebrow windows. Item number one shows where the windows are, are a circle window. Each window goes halfway up and they call this an eyebrow window. They also went with half logs in the upper gate dormers rather than going with a standard cedar shake that we would typically use here at Golden Eagle uh, on a standard package. They preferred to run log in the upper dormers, and then they followed with a butt and pass corner in all the corners. So number two shows you the half log dormer and a butt and pass corner. 
as I mentioned earlier, vertical corners are a, a lesser expensive cost. Button pass, like you see here, are our standard. And then we also offer a saddle notch and a dovetail corner option. The third item on this picture is a steel roof. Some people would like the look of a steel roof rather than an asphalt shingle on their roof. Steel roofs are very common in fire danger areas. Uh, if we build homes in Arizona, uh, in different areas where there could be fire danger, the steel roofs are a safe option because they would shed fire sparks from fires. It's also a better way for having snow removed from the roof. In most cases at Golden Eagle, our roof systems are designed with steeper 12-12 pitches. So the asphalt shingles will serve the purpose just fine and will shed the snow without any problems. Steel roofs mostly are chosen for the look. So in this case, it was an option to go to the steel roof. If you look up on number one on the next photo, they went with what we call a western roof system. This is a very popular option, and Golden Eagle picked this up years ago from selling homes in the west. This is a, a, a typical uh, uh, option that they'd like to do on homes out there, and it's carried over here into the Midwest and into the, to the uh, southern zones. So it is an option if you want to go to a what we call a western roof. If you look at my cursor, a western roof is when the roof comes straight up and then they add a small roof over the top. There's no structural meaning to this. It is only done for the look, but it gives it a great, a, a great option um, to, to break things up for you. Another thing that we did on this particular home is we added log purlin accents. If you look in the soffit areas, at which I, my cursor is pointing at, these purlins, again, are not structural. They are only there for the look and give that home a, a, a neater value and a neater, uh, a neater option to go with. So these stick out and they can be put all the way around the exterior of the home that sticks out into the, the eave areas. We call those purlin accents. The kitchen. The kitchen is probably the most popular and most thought about uh, room in an entire home. And it usually is probably the most expensive room in your entire house. At Golden Eagle, each customer will receive special attention when it comes time to design this kitchen. You will meet with one of our kitchen designers who will detail your kitchen and provide you 3D photos of your kitchen before the, your cabinets are produced and the cabinets are made for your home. Many choices are available, uh, so let's just talk about a few of them. Starting out in this kitchen, Number one, they went with wood grills. Grills are something that can be added in the windows or in patio doors. They, again, there is no structural meaning or value for them. They're just a very nice look. And, and if you're after that, that uh, uh, the breakup of the glass or the patio doors, these grills are available for you. They are available in a removable grid where they can be installed in the glass and can be taken out if you prefer not to use them, or they can be built into the glass between the glass, which does make the glass easier to clean on the outside and the inside since there's no grills that are in the way to clean each individual piece of glass. This particular homeowner wanted their windows to be the same species of wood to match their cabinets. So they went with an alder window option. Um, Pella has many different species of wood that they will produce their windows with so that they can match different 
colors and, and wood textures from the interior. So in this case, this particular home has an alder cabinet and an alder window trim. Number three on this list is a farm sink. Golden Eagle offers many plumbing fixture options. Uh, all plumbing fixtures are part of your package here at Golden Eagle. Many different types of faucets to choose from. Um, if you notice the faucet on the farm sink, you can get single handle, you can get double handle, you can get a sprayer, you can get a taller pot, what they call a pot uh, soaking uh, faucet, and there are many, many different types of sink options. In this case, they chose a farm sink. So again, this particular kitchen, uh, they went with a higher ceiling. Now, standard ceiling height on a typical Golden Eagle log home is eight feet tall. Some people like to go to taller ceilings, which go, you can go to nine feet or 10 feet or even taller. If you do decide to go to a taller ceiling height, then you might want to make your doors and your cabinets taller. Since there's more room on the wall space, uh, you can go, rather than a 36 inch wall cabinet, you can go to a 42 inch wall cabinet, or you can add, if you watch my cursor up above, you can add cabinets above the standard cabinets for extra storage space up above. So because of going to taller ceilings, that allows for more room for higher and taller cabinets. You also have the option to go, if you look at the patio doors in this photo, you can go to taller doors. Uh, a typical door height is six foot eight inches, and you can go to an eight foot tall door if you want a taller door option. Different cabinetry selections on this particular home. Again, they went with a rustic alder that has natural wood and a natural stain finish on the cabinet. And on their island, they changed it up and went with a different species. In this case, they went with a birch cabinet and went to a darker ebony stain. Again, Golden Eagle has many different styles of cabinets from maple and hickory and cherry and alder and oak to, to uh, the same for islands and the same for countertops. Here's a wood countertop that was installed. People might choose a, a laminate top if they need to save some cost. They might go to a granite top in the kitchen if they want to go with a nicer top. So in the kitchen, many details can be added. Um, that would be something that we'll go through with you here at Golden Eagle when you meet with our kitchen design staff. Okay, this is a great piece that I like to talk about in the next photo. <clears throat> we get calls here at Golden Eagle on a daily basis and, and they ask us, how much do you charge a square foot for your homes? It's almost an impossible question for us to answer. And it's not fair for us to try to give you a ballpark price on a square foot until we know what the house plan looks like and what kind of design you're looking for. This photo that you're looking at now gives you two examples, one on the left and one on the right, of two completely different log home designs. The similarities with these homes is that they are both the, almost exactly the same square footage. The home on the left, called our Hiawatha, is 2,660 square foot. This home has a loft up above it, and it is a very basic, inexpensive floor plan option to, to build with. The reason for that is this particular home has a, it is a very basic rectangular design. It basically has four corners, and then it has a garage that goes directly off the back with a small covered porch. This is a very easy home to design and a very inexpensive home to build. 
If you go to the right, this particular home offers almost identical square footage. This particular home is 2,668 square foot. We call this home our Double Eagle Deluxe. This is also a design that is the same as our model home here in, at our Wisconsin facility. The, the difference with this particular home is it's got many corners. If you notice, it's got corners that go all the way around the house. It also has a 45 degree angled garage. It has a large covered porch across the front. It has a large covered porch across the back. So there's a lot more going on with this plan on the right than there is on the plan on the left. Both homes, the square footages to build these are going to be completely different, even though they have the same square footage. The one at the home on the left, let's just say, might cost $350,000 to build, where the one on the right might be $500,000 to build. So it's a completely different price market, and it, but yet they're the same square footage. Other items that have to be considered when, when figuring a price is what kind of ingredients you want to go into your home. We need to know what, whether you want a quarter log or a half log or a full log. We need to know what kind of roof system you want to put on, what kind of windows would be installed. We need to know the interior features, such as wall finishes, type of plumbing fixtures, what kind of fireplaces. So there is a lot of questions that need to be resolved before a fair, accurate price can be given. Once we know what you're looking for, yes, then we can quote square foot prices. But until we know that what you're looking for, that is a just not a good question. It's a impo very impossible question to answer. <clears throat> okay, the next photo up is a different type of category of home uh, that we option here at Golden Eagle. This is called our hybrid or exposed beam home. These homes offer different exterior and interior features other than log options. This might be a maintenance-free exterior. If, if some people are looking for uh, maintenance-free, uh, or it might just be a rustic accenting uh, that can be added to the log or to an, to an exposed beam home. So this particular, uh, the home on the left has got a lot of stone uh, that we optioned on the uh, outside. And then we went with a cedar shake up in the gables. And then we ordered some timber accents that go up in the gable dormers, if you see where my cursors are. So it's a completely different home style. The house in the top right corner, that's got some stone going on, and that's got a maintenance-free polymer shake that we installed, which is uh, maintenance-free. So that home has, offers a completely maintenance-free exterior, but yet we gave it what we call the Golden Eagle Touch, where we added a little bit of trim, log trim around the windows and doors, just to give it a nice rustic flair, um, and, and just to kind of give it uh, our, our Golden Eagle Touch. Also along with our in, in exposed beam home option, we, uh, we offer the option to go to exposed trusses on the interior of your home. These beams and accents can be installed in a full log home, they can be installed in a half log home, quarter log home, or in our hybrid exposed beam option homes. These are only decorative timber frame um, trusses or accents that we install in the home so they are not structural. Why do we do it that way? Because many companies out there might offer a timber frame home, but we found here at Golden Eagle that we are able to give our customers an exposed beam option to still look like a true timber frame at a much less cost to the homeowner. 
because it's not structural. Therefore, you as the homeowner can choose any specific room or area that you want to install these beams, maybe in the great room or the kitchen or the dining room, or maybe just in a master bath, and then not do it in the rest of the house. So you have your choice to add these in any location that you choose. Now here is a exposed beam home option that we did in the next photo. Um, again, if you look, uh, they went with some Y braces. They went with some exposed beam trusses up on the top, up on the upper left top. And again, these are only installed as a accent. So these are decorative and not structural. This particular customer didn't want a lot of wood on all their walls, so they chose drywall, which is you know, a less cost. They painted it the colors in which they wanted, and then they added some exposed beams accents. They added some stone to the back of their snack bar to break things up. On the right, they also choose, chose to uh, do some timber accents in their master bathroom. Again, you would be able to choose which particular home you would like to have these accents added. Again, this is called the hybrid exposed beam package option. The next photo that I'm showing you is exterior doors. <clears throat> These will have an impact on uh, costs for your home. The door on the left is going to be a steel door. Steel doors are very popular and they are what you're going to see in most conventional home construction. Um, they offer different types of door glass. They offer side lights. So they're designed the same way as a fiberglass or a wood door option. They're just made out of steel. <clears throat> so they are, you are able to paint them a, a specific color that you would want and, uh, and choose that. But the, oops, I, sorry about that. The wood doors, the steel doors, again, um, are, are going to be your least expensive option for the doors. The next door that you see at the center is a fiberglass door option. They're very similar to the steel door. However, they hold a little bit better energy value because they're an insulated cord door. Fiberglass doors are also going to be less uh, less easier to dent. So if, if your grandson or your son threw a, a ball into the door, the steel door has a good tendency to get a dent in it. The fiberglass door is going to be less optional to get dents in it. So it, it's going to hold up better for, for uh, outdoors. Um, it, is, it is more expensive for the fiberglass door, but it is uh, an option for you rather than the steel door. The door to the right is a wood door option. <clears throat> if some people are going with a log exterior and a wood exterior, they want to be able to have a wood door that matches or you know, that looks uh, rustic like the house. So we do offer wood doors uh, as an upgraded feature. Again, wood doors are available with side light windows, with windows in the glass. So there's a variety of different store door and window options that are available. <clears throat> also to your new home are premium appliances. Appliances are not included in the Golden Eagle package, but these are something that we have to discuss with you when it comes time to discuss your budget. If somebody's looking at saving costs, there are less costlier appliance options. And there are many new technology changes in appliances today. For instance, in this particular picture in this home, they went with a large, what they call a double refrigerator unit. Um, we put side panels on the side of the refrigerator so that you're not looking at the sides of the refrigerator. They went with a cooktop in the island. If you look uh, by my cursor, they went with a separate cooktop on their island that was built in. They went with a double oven. 
They also went with what we call a warming drawer. So if you're if you like to host parties and do a lot of cooking, you might need two ovens to keep keep the food going, and then you also have a warming drawer to keep things warm during your festivities. <clears throat> On the right side over here, this is a small refrigerator cooler. This might be used for beverages, for your water, or for soda, or even for you beer drinkers, you can have a uh, store your beer in that in that refrigerator separate from the refrigerator so there is uh, also a built-in dishwasher in this home they went with a copper sink under mount sink option so again many different options available when it comes to your appliances in your kitchen counters and, and, and built-ins Just about every log home owner, especially here at Golden Eagle, wants a fireplace installed in their home. Golden Eagle install offers different types of fireplace options. The fireplace on the left is a standard fireplace unit that we offer here at Golden Eagle Log Homes. This is a wood burning fireplace unit, and this unit would be would have a blower system on it so that it would blow hot air into your great room or into your, your main area where that fireplace is located. Fireplaces, when originally designed, were designed for the ambiance of having a fire. People that like the snap, the crackle, and the pop, and the smell of a fire, wood-burning fireplaces are very popular. Gas fireplaces are another option if somebody wishes to have a gas fireplace rather than a wood burning insert. The fireplace to your right is a upgraded fireplace option available here at Golden Eagle and this is for somebody that really wants to get the heat out of this fireplace unit. This unit is basically a wood stove that's built into the wall. It's going to have a damper system. If you look on my cursor it's got a damper system that's installed. It's got a heavy do duty blower that would come with it. And this is an all cast iron frame unit. This unit weighs almost 600 pounds. And this will throw serious heat. A unit like this can be designed to heat up to a 2,000 square foot home all by itself. Different options available with this unit is you can actually get ducting that can go right into the duct work of your furnace system to throw that heat throughout the house. So fireplaces are going to be geared based on what you want to use them for. Um, if you're after burning a lot of wood and really getting the heat out of it, the unit on the right might be a big value for you. If you're just looking for the fire to enjoy the fire, our standard fireplace unit on the left will do just fine. Some people may choose a, a, a gas fireplace just because it doesn't have the mess. You click a switch and it, the fire turns on and you don't have to worry about cutting or splitting any wood. So again, many different options available when it comes to fireplace units. We also offer many different types of stone options. If you look at my cursor on the left, we offer many different stone choices. Uh, again, as we mentioned earlier, um, man-made stone, and that's what you're seeing here. Uh, it's available in a lot of different stone, different choices and colors. We do offer a standard mantle that comes over the fireplace unit. Some people might want us to have a carved mantle put above the fireplace. We have our own carver here at Golden Eagle Log Homes that can do any personalization to your mantle or to your log posts or anywhere you choose on your log products. <clears throat> okay, the next item up is feature walls. This is very important. Again, <clears throat> we're going to talk about ways to save money and ways to spend more. So I'm going to kind of work my way across. Most every log home that we design today 
has what we call a feature wall in the house. Usually that, that wall is located in the great room. And that's going to be pointed towards a specific, specific view that you're looking for. So if you're building it on the lake and you want the lake view, or if you're building it out on your farm and you want the, the view of your farm animals in the back, or if you're building it in the mountains of Colorado and you have an awesome view of the, the landscape, that is somewhere where you're going to want a bunch of glass or patio doors to have more view out that feature wall. So that's what we call it, a feature wall. Now, there, an, in, an inexpensive way to go with a feature wall, the, if you go to the left example, that is just a simple flat wall. They put a couple of windows in the wall, if you see two windows, and then they went with some simple trapezoid windows up above. This is a very inexpensive option. They installed the fireplace between the windows and the glass that runs up the wall. So this, uh, this is just a flat horizontal with sliding windows and uh, a very inexpensive way to design that feature wall. Now if we go to the one in the middle, this is going to be more complex. So it still has the flat wall that runs straight across like the one on the left. But now they incorporated a lot more glass into this feature wall. So they went with triple patio doors, three panel patio doors to each side. They went with a full glass on the upstairs, so large uh, glass in the upper gable areas. They ordered, they added some turkey track accents in the upper. And then they offered, off, I'm sorry, then they added a covered porch on the front of it so that they can come outside and stand underneath the covered porch. So there's a lot more going on with the one in the middle than there is on the one on the left. So this might be something that you might want to option for. Okay, now we're going to go to the one on the right. The one on the right, we went with what we call a prowl wall. So rather than making that wall straight across, or flat, like the example one and example in the middle, the one on the right has a prow. So we actually built that out into a point. And the, and the advantage to doing that is so that it gives you two views. So when you're standing inside your home and looking out your feature wall, you're going to get a view to the left and a view to the right. So you're going to get two separate views out that window or out that great room. As for the, the first photo with the flat wall and the second photo with the flat wall, your view is going to be straight ahead. You're not going to get the view to the right or the view to the left. So this is sometimes a, a great uh, option if you've got special uh, things that you want to see to the right and left of your great room. Now they also went with a whole wall of glass, so they added uh, a number of window panels. Um, this is a very complex uh, feature wall. This is going to have a lot of engineering that has to go into that to be able to keep that wall steady from heavy winds that might blow against it to hold all that glass in place. So there's definitely more engineering and things going on with that particular style of feature wall. So there's three examples of feature wall options and different cost examples. <clears throat> Again, here's another example of the same thing. On the left, we've got a, they, they installed a door in the center. Now the door on, the, 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 the wall on the left is going to be more costlier than the, wall, the, the example on the right. The one on the right has a flat feature wall with lots of glass. Beautiful view, you're going to have your view straight ahead, but there are, no, there are no patio doors and there are no covered porches or no decks coming out of that front area. Where on the left now, they went with a large covered entry, they added a bunch of log accents as you can see going on um, for accenting, 
they went with stone columns or stone pillars and they went with flare bottom posts that come down to set on top of that. These are structural and that holds up that roof system. Now these logs could go all the way to the ground or they can be installed on top of these concrete piers. Again, the one on the left is going to be certainly much more expensive to design than the one on the right. All different things that you have to think about when, when, when we discuss your plan with you. Okay, so a few things that I'm kind of re going to recap on uh, that we kind of just went through. The first thing is the roof system. So if you want a, a home design that's going to be a little less expensive, the laminate or asphalt shingles on your roof, they are going to certainly be less costlier than it is going to a metal roof or a slate roof um, that you might want to put on, the, on your roof system for your options. For timber framing, the accent trusses, we, we can go with simple designs or we can go with large complex trusses that are much more complicated. Your log size, <clears throat> if you're doing a full log home or a half log or a quarter log home, the log size will have a determination on the price. Our 8 inch log is our standard log diameter and you can upgrade to a 10 inch, to a 12 inch, or you can upgrade to a handcrafted log. So these are your different cost levels. When designing your home, a square home is going to be less costlier than say an octagon or an angled home that has more corners. Every time you take a corner make another corner on a plan design that is going to be more expensive. So the, the shape of your home is going to have an effect. The foundation that's going to go underneath the home. A concrete slab is going to be your least expensive uh, foundation because there's no floor system required to build the floor on a slab construction. The actual concrete slab would act as your first floor. The next option would be going to a crawl space foundation and then to a basement. So these are going to have an effect on the overall price of your home. How are you going to heat your home? There are many different options for heating systems today. Again, technology has come a long way. Forced air gas is the typical heat source that most homes have. That would offer a furnace with duct work, and then it would also offer central air conditioning. Another type of heat system that's very popular today is in-floor heat. That's where they actually install tubing in your floors so that it actually keeps the, the floors heated so that they're very warm. Another option in the heating industry today is what they call geothermal heatings. This is where they actually drill wells into the ground and they draw water out of Mother Earth. That water is drawn out of the ground at 55 degrees. It is then transferred into piping into your home and then it is already ready to cool so they don't have to use energy to cool the house. The water that pulls out of the ground at 55 degrees is more than sufficient to cool the home. That's all that we need is a blower to blow it through the house. The same thing works for heating. We draw the heat out of the ground at 55 degrees. Now we only need a boiler system to heat that water from 55 to about 70 degrees. So that's only about a 15 degree up up that we have to get it to heat the home. So it's going to be much cheaper to heat that house than it is with a forced air system. However, the forced air system is going to be considerably less in cost to install in the overrun of the when it comes time to plan that house. Geothermal heating will cost about three times the price, but over time, if you live in the home for many years, you will get the payback 
from the geothermal system. Okay, the next item is flooring. What type of flooring are you going to install in your home? Carpeting, laminate, or vinyl is going to be the least expensive option. It is still very nice and, and looks quite beautiful when installed. That's going to be the less expensive option. The other option is to go to real wood floors or tile floors. Real wood floors can be installed with hickory or cherry and many different species of wood. Tile has many different tile options available, but it is more expensive and more labor intensive to install the wood and the tile than it is carpeting or laminate. So these will have an effect on the overall price of your home. Countertops. Laminate tops in your kitchen are going to be the least expensive option. They look very nice again. Another option is to go to a granite or a quartz or what they call a neolithic. That These are different options when it comes to different types of solid surface countertops in your kitchen. The way that your home is insulated. Fiberglass insulation is going to be your least expensive cost for insulating. This is very common in what most conventional home builders use today is fiberglass insulation in your roofs and in your floors and your walls. Another option is to go to a spray foam insulation. That's where they actually spray the insulation into the wall and the, and the insulation hardens and it becomes solid. It is, it's got a much better R factor value per inch. Um, so that's another option. It is, again, more costly to install, but uh, sometimes in the overall scheme of things, it's, it's going to be uh, a cost savings down the road. I like to elaborate on the insulation in a home. So many people think that they need to over insulate the walls of your house. The real place that you need to insulate very well is the roof. If you picture the heating inside your house, when the heat comes into the home, the first place the heat goes is, is it rises. All the heat in the house is going to go up to the ceiling. So it's very important that your roof system is insulated very properly. When we design your home at, here at Golden Eagle Log Homes and we engineer your house, that's something that we make sure is we, that we meet all your heat calculations that are required to meet the energy factors in your area. Insulating the roof system, if the roof is insulated properly, the heat will then swirl down the, around the roof and it will come down the walls. The next place that that heat will escape is to go out the windows. So the next thing you want to make sure is that you've got very quality low E argon gas filled or properly insulated windows. So that's something that 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 Palo windows that we use here at Golden Eagle offer and we feel very comfortable with their energy performances. So if your roof system is insulated properly and you've got very good windows, then you fought the fight and you're going to have a very energy efficient home. <clears throat> the next item up is notched corners. Again, the less costlier, the fewer corners on the home, the less costlier it's going to be. The style of corners, the vertical corner is going to be one way to cut costs. Button pass uh, is our standard corner. Again, not a, very, a real expensive option. And then more corners on a home will cost more. And if you may choose to upgrade to a dovetail corner or to a saddle notch corner, these are different corner upgrades that are available. When I finish with you tonight, if you go to the Golden Eagles website, you can see all these corner options you know, on our website uh, to see the, what they look like. And finally, wall finishes. So I, I want to reevaluate and talk about that one more time. If you choose a full log home, 
That means that all the exterior walls, all the way around the outside of the house, those are going to be a solid log. So that means that they're going to be log outside and log on the inside. But you still have many interior walls that are not log. So even with a full log home, like the walls maybe between a bedroom and a bathroom or any interior partition walls, those walls still have to have some kind of wall finish applied to them. Drywall is going to be your least expensive wall finish, followed by tongue and groove pine, and then followed by a quarter log. To go to an option, you can upgrade to maybe some custom drywall finishes, such as full finishes or installing stenciling on the drywall. You can also go to a half log uh, wall finish or to a stone finish on the inside walls. So all these will have an effect on the outcome of the final cost. If you choose a half log or a quarter log home, then you have to choose every wall in the house. A half log or a quarter log will have the log on the outside of the home, but the inside is going to be whatever you decide you want to have installed. So every wall, including the exterior walls on a half and quarter log, will need to be discussed with you and, and will have an effect on your final outcome. So those are just a few things uh, that, I'd like, that I talked with you tonight uh, to give you some ideas of making uh, uh, your home less expensive or making your home more expensive or maybe a little bit of in-between. We have many different options here available at Golden Eagle. We're very proud of our products and we are certainly looking at helping you to design and budget your home. Uh, in the, when it comes time for your, uh, you to move forward. All right, thank you, Jan. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed that presentation. I see we do have a, a few questions here that were sent in. Uh, Jan's gonna take a few minutes here to answer those questions. For those of you out there that do have a question, no question is uh, really too small to ask, so just send it our way. So Jan? Uh, how about you take a look at this one here? Okay, the first question that came up is curious to know what is the cost of the first house that was built? Okay, so let's go back and take a look at that. Okay, so this was the first home that Golden Eagle uh, showed. Now, this was the home that I explained that we designed for a customer that was on a budget. Um, this home is about 2,500 square foot uh, finished area between the upstairs and the downstairs. This was done with a quarter log. It was done with a vertical corner. It was done with our standard, uh, with a six by six deck post. It went with a lesser expensive railing system. This home built for about $350,000. All right, Jan, it looks like there's another question here. Um, how do you know what is the best kind of stain to use for your home? Or how do you go about choosing that? That's a wonderful question. People ask us at Golden Eagle, you know, what do we need, what, how much work is involved to take care of a log home? And you're going to get a lot of different comments from different builders, different manufacturers, and maybe from different people that owned log homes before in the past. At Golden Eagle, we, we make every effort to take the least amount of maintenance away from you as the homeowner as possible. The first thing that we do is we kiln dry all of our timber, all of our logs, no matter whether it's quarter log, half log, or full log, all of our logs are kiln dried. Why would we do that? Kiln, kiln dried takes the moisture out of the logs so that there is no settling. Therefore, you will, never, you will not have to re-caulk or re-chink between the logs 
once that home is built the first time. Quality stain products on the exterior are very important. So we offer a, a number of different stain options here at Golden Eagle. Um, and to be honest with you, here's how we make the choice on the companies that we select. We get suppliers that come into our facility on a weekly basis trying to sell us what they say is the best log products on the market. So what we do is we give those we give those suppliers logs and that they, they are to take back to their facility and stain with their products and then we ask them to bring them back to us. When they bring them back we take them out behind our facility and we let them weather for about two years and that's how we make our decision on whose products hold up the best. So what quality stain you use may have a different effect on where the home is being built. For instance, if it's being built in a very sunny, if it's in the south where it's getting a lot of sun, then an oil-based stain is probably going to be better. Uh, some, some states only allow water-based products, so therefore we do have wonderful water-based products also. To get to the answer of your question, most of our products will require a stain that you would choose a color, and then it would be followed with a clear coat sealer that goes around the outside of the home. The clear coat sealer is the important ingredient for the maintenance of your log home. That sealer would be applied and that would have a pesticide and an insecticide and a fungicide and it'll have a UV protector to protect it from the sunlight. So every four years that clear coat needs to be applied to the outside of your home to protect that log from any damage from the sun or from the weather. So quality stain roughly every four years um, and if you if you ever like to call into us we'll certainly discuss with you the different stain companies that we will work with. Jan we have a question here from Todd he's asking uh, is it worth coming to visit our model and facility if we aren't ready to buy or build for another five years? So is it worth it for Todd to come if he's not going to build for another five years? Todd, we welcome everybody to come to our facility. I don't care if you're building next week or ten years down the road. We, we, offer a, we have a wonderful facility here at Golden Eagle. Um, it's a great way to plan for your, for your new home to see all the different products that we have available to you. It's probably nothing that we want to actually start working on pricing or plans at this point with you, but yes, we, you'd certainly enjoy a trip here to see our facility and learn more about log homes in general. Jana, a question from Steve and Terry was, uh, was the $350,000 a complete finished ready to live in home? <clears throat> Stephen Terry, yes, that uh, that three hundred fifty thousand dollars was was the complete construction for that particular home. That included the foundation, the electrical, the plumbing, the heating, everything that they needed to have done for what we would call a turnkey package. The only thing that's not considered into that is you would need to you would need to own the property that you're going to build it on. You would need to have the utilities run to the property, such as electric or gas, and you would need to provide the well and septic system uh, you know, for your drain system and your water system for the home. Otherwise, the rest would be part of the, the turnkey operation. Jan, I see that uh, David and Brenda are wondering what the difference is between a half log and full log stairs. I'm wondering if our final selections website would be best for showing that. <clears throat> But the full log stairs has a full log stringer below it. Yeah, the the full the full log there are there's two different types of log stair options that we offer. They're both what we call a, a full log option. The you have the option to show a, a full log on the left and the right of the stairs. I just pulled this up so, on the screen. Oh, you did. Yeah, right here. So the, if you if you look at the screen right now. Here is this is what we call an what we call an EZ stair option. This has got a full log under two log full logs underneath the stairs 
and then the half log treads that set up on top of the stairs, and they are then mounted to metal brackets that mount to those two log, full logs on the bottom. We call this our EZ log stairs or full log stairs. Mm -hmm. Another option is what we call our half log stair system. So this is going to have a half log on the left and a half log on the right. And then we're going to use half log treads that get doweled into the side of these logs on each side. So they're pinned into that, the logs. We call this our half log stair option. I hope that answers your question. Jan, we have a question here from uh, Belinda Craig. Uh, she's asking, if you left the interior wall of a full log home unfinished, so if you didn't put stain on it, uh, any pigment, how bright or how dark would that log be? Okay, Belinda, if you, if you did not stain or seal the inside of the log, the, the, the light will fade that log out. So it will turn darker over time. Um, usually if you, even some customers might not want to stain them logs of color on the inside, but I would certainly suggest that you at least put a sealer on them. That sealer will protect it from the UV rays from the sun, um, and that will protect it from fading out. If you don't do anything with the log on the inside, it, it is, it, it'll last forever, it's not going to, but it will darken over time. All right, we have another question here from Janice. Do you also provide pocket or sliding barn door systems? Hi Janice, yes, pocket and uh, barn doors are huge options today, especially the barn doors are really becoming popular. Um, we're selling a lot of them. Pocket doors, We've been using those for years. Uh, that's a great way to save space. Pocket doors are most uh, commonly used in areas where you don't use the doors a lot. Maybe in going into a utility room um, where you want to be able to shut the door when the washer dryer is going and not hear the noise. Uh, that's a popular spot. Um, or maybe between a master bedroom and master bath where usually it's open most of the time and you only shut it occasionally. Uh, that, that's a, a good spot for a pocket door. But yes, pocket and bar doors are very common. Well, I don't see any other questions. Uh, if anyone does have a question, please get it in quickly. But just as a reminder, we will be sending a copy of this presentation. Uh, it will be posted on YouTube, and Jan will be sending you all a, a, an email with a link to that YouTube address. Jan, you might as well close it out. Well, again, I thank you very much for listening to How to Spend More and How to Spend Less this, this evening. Um, I, I ask all of you, if you have any questions, please get back to us. We are very interested in your business here at Golden Eagle, and I promise you we sell a very quality, wonderful, beautiful log home, and we'd love to help you with yours. Good evening and good night.